Welcome to the SignProx tutorial on the basic features of the Setup Wizard. Use the Setup Wizard to add, remove, and edit shapefiles for your SignProx map. To run the Setup Wizard, go to Tools and click Setup Wizard. Setup Wizard will walk you through all the steps to add, edit, or remove these shapefiles. By default, the US state boundary shapefile is added to the map. You can edit this shapefile by highlighting the record and clicking edit. Let's say instead of making every state the color of blue, you could also choose random grayscale colors and each state will be drawn with a random color in the grayscale. You can also change from the solid line to a dashed line you can change the color or the weight as well. For the visibility we will choose to have this layer always visible and we can also label it using the name field in the DBF file and we can have it set to always label. Next we might want to add uh, roadway files to our map. In this case, we're going to add New Jersey roadway files for the Princeton Township. And these shapefile, this shapefile is projected in the geographic coordinate system. Currently, Sonprox is optimized for the geographic coordinate system. You can project any shapefile in this coordinate system using a variety of tools available. So when you add a new shapefile, Sonprox will detect whether it's a line, a polygon, or a point, and the form will let you customize it accordingly. Since this is a line shape, you no longer have uh, color for the inside of the polygon like you did for the state boundaries. <clears throat> In this case, you can choose line type, color, and the weight. Let's say we want to have a red thickness 3 to represent our roadways. Again, you can choose visibility and label features. If you don't have access to shapefiles, you can click this link to go to Census's website to download free shapefiles already projected in the geographic coordinate system. When you hit next, it will detect the maximum extent of all the shapefiles added. You can use the tools zoom in, zoom out, and the pan features to zoom in to a extent that you want to use as your maximum viewing extent. The maximum viewing extent is also used to calculate the always zoom extent when you're choosing the visibility and labeling. So this would be zoom extent number 10, and it will zoom in at 10 different intervals down to zoom extent number 1 which will be uh, the lowest zoom level that you could conceivably want to go to. So having a very large maximum zoom extent will adjust the slider on the previous form. So in this case we might want to make the state of New Jersey our maximum view. When you click next it will use this zoom extent for your for the initial viewing but now you can set the default view. The default view would be more like your home viewing. When you click the home button it'll take you to this zoom level. Since we have only roads for New Jersey Princeton Township we might choose to have this be our default zoom extent. The next step in the wizard allows you to move layers up and down. The topmost layer is the layer drawn first. So you typically want polygons on the top, lines after that, and then any points after that. This will prevent layers from overlapping other layers. Since the polygon file has color inside of its shape, it would be drawn on top of any road events if you move this layer down one. Once you hit next, Sonprox will use 
the drawing characteristics you chose and draw the map as you've decided to, to show it. It will default to the maximum zoom extent and you can zoom in and out to see if it's working the way you wanted it to. When you hit finish it'll warn you that these shape files will be saved to the shape file folder. Any shape files with the same name will be overwritten. This is typically typically okay as when you browse through shapefile it will copy the file to the new location so you aren't actually overwriting the original files that you had. Sonprox will now draw the map as you've decided to set it and it will zoom to the default or the home zoom extent. And that's how you customize uh, your Sonprox map using the basic features of the setup wizard. Thanks.